ideal baseball conditions with the rain coming down but first pitch is just around the corner tonight it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals the Metropolitans aim to notch their seventh win in a row right after this. Stepping in, Gerald Hayden. He'll get us started in this one Leading under the lights. For the, Mets, the third baseman. Gerald. Ready with the Hayden. first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Right to him. And there's one gone to begin the evening. Into the box, Gerald Hayden. He bounced out last time up. Gerald Hayden. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got hit high and deep out to left center field. Robles is back on it. And this will get all the way to the wall now. He hit the corner and right, tries for third. And he is in to third with a two out triple. Hey Dan, as a former pitcher, that knock just took him to a 12 game hit streak. Is that in the packet when you're looking over the lineup? Hey, there's no doubt about that, D Row. You go into a pitcher's meeting and they're making fully aware of who's hot and who's not. And trust me, they knew that he had an 11 game hitting streak. And after that knock, it's an even dozen. At the plate now is Austin Haynes. He popped out in his first trip. The 0 2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. No damage done after the two-out triple. Could play two and a half. No score on the show. Next, it'll be Gerald Hayden as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. So it's a ground ball single to left for him here. His second hit tonight. And as we bring up our team leaderboard, you can see there he currently ranks fourth on the Mets in that department. Next to hit is Austin Haynes. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Runners off for second. Weak roller right side. Bells. Right, so you're here. You're here. You're here. Throw in time and the side is retired. Mets strand one. Score holds. It's three to one. Next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Gerald Hayden. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back, showing some resiliency, and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead, locking down that W. Back up the middle and into center field, a base hit. So early trouble here to start the eighth inning. Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Austin Hayes, the next to bat. Could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Robles waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So a runner at first now with one away. And next it will be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. A three up pitch. Runner goes. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four. And it's first and second now with one away. Here's Javier Baez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 0 and 1 delivery. To the right side and through a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. It's now a 4-2 game. 
The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in the zone gets him to hit it on the ground. But obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. Now back to the top of the Mets order. Digging in Gerald Hayden singled in his last at bat. Pitch on the way. And that's nope. inside that's for inside. a ball. One and oh. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hard liner to center field. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Support for the 